Hello everyone again, this is Antonio and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. First of all, I would like to start off by saying for those that don't know me or don't know anything about this channel, on this channel we speak about stock, cryptocurrency, personal and business credit. Also, uh, the purpose of this video is, is not for uh, financial advice. The purpose of this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now, let's talk about a lesser known brand who was once, of course, in the NASDAQ and now they have fallen off a little bit and now they're looking for a way to stay into the NASDAQ and they're using their power of, the, of their money into the EV sector to get to that point. And that company is Naked Brand Group just turn itself into a de facto spec what it means for investors now the ev sector is going wild you got rivian who just um uh, stopped delivering videos or not videos uh cars and by the, delivering those cars you know they went public and when they went public they came out the gate swinging the uh, car co company that's partially owned by Amazon, Ford, and amongst other companies came out the gate swinging at uh, at a price point that was just uh, just astronomical. It's, it's not heard of. And then a lot of times when companies come out, they drop, but this company didn't drop. They kept trading off, and that's Rivian. Also, you got Lucifer, who just started delivering cars. And a lot of people thought that there was going to be a scam because they kept promising, promising that they was going to deliver cars. And finally, they start delivering those cars. Now, let's talk about the Naked Brand Group and let's see how they are looking for ways to survive into uh, as a company into the NASDAQ stock marketplace. So following a lengthy struggle to avoid delisting by the NASDAQ stock market, because the shares trade under one dollar swimwear and lingerie company naked brand group, uh, group which i just invested in honestly saw its shares skyrocket 43 percent in after hours trading on november 8th now that was some time ago but it's still not at a dollar and you still have time to get in on this play the catalyst was an announced major, a merger privately held electric vehicle company, Centro Automotive Group. At this point, it is unclear if Naked will effectively cease to exist or will continue making lingerie, but it will cease operating under its own name, taking Centro public in the process, almost as if it were special purpose acquisition company SPAC. Here's what it mean it could mean for investors with the move potentially bullish if Centoro can live up to its growth goals. Naked Brand Group's background. Naked Brand has seen many ups and downs through 2021, including its near removal from the Nasdaq exchange. Back at the year's start, its shares rose to $1.65 as, as it briefly became a meme stock. Though it appealed, through it, it, it appealed soon faded, its stock slipped below $1 in late March. On, uh, on April 24th, the index sent um, a non-compliance warning to Naked after its shares traded under a dollar for 30 second consecutive days. At that point, NASDAQ officials gave uh, Naked the standard 180 days to, ride, uh, to raise his bid above a dollar for 10 consecutive days to comply or be taken off the index. These are the central Metro e, uh, e, uh, CV vans. If you don't know what you'll be investing in, when you become an investor, you become a part owner of the company. So... It doesn't matter the amount of money that you invest. If you invest, you are part owner of a company. You don't have immediate say so, but you do have ownership and you got voting rights in some cases. 
Naked failed to meet the deadline by the October 26 deadline, but NASDAQ granted a 180-day extension on October 27th. The company must now comply by April 25th, 2022. This is not the first time the company has been out of compliance, with a similar scenario playing out in 2019, complete with a, a similar extension it also came close to NASDAQ delisting in 2020, only to be saved by its meme stock surge. Naked has uh, tried to find a merger partner for several months, apparently deeming this the best means to avoid delisting its stock rose and failed as investors responded to various potential merger agreements, only to see each attempt fail. Most recently, Naked said in September, it was planning to combine with the unnamed company in the clean energy space, but its shares fell 15.3% in October after the deal didn't happen. The volatility this quest caused near push it above a dollar threshold. What the deal looks like, Naked appears to finally have a firm commitment with, to a merger in its current pack with Central Automotive. According to the de details of the deal, Naked will buy out Centuro using a stock for talk transaction before the end of 2021. The resulting uh, merged company will have the name Centuro Automotive Group and current Centuro shareholders will own a 70% stake in the combined ent uh, entity, giving them a controlling interest above the 30% held by current Naked shareholders. Naked's acquisition of Centuro is clearly uh, astonishing Naked as a swimsuit and lingerie company, meaning Naked is acting in a manner very similar to a SPAC and launching an effective initial public offering for Centuro through the merger. Naked is bringing $282 million in cash to the deal after already providing Centuro with a $30 million loan to help it ramp up its EV production. Naked will spin off FOH Online, the e-commerce branch of Fredericks of Hollywood that it acquired back in 2018 for $18.2 million as part of the merger process. Curiously, uh, the new Centuro will continue trading under the Naked ticker on the ASDAQ exchange according to the press release. Centuro's Control of the newly merged company extends beyond the shareholders to the executive suite. It would appoint all but two members of the board of, of the directors. Those two board members being Naked Current CEO, Justin Davis Rice and Simon Tripp. Its non-executive director, control of the combined entity will therefore, uh, therefore mostly pass to Centro. The press Release does not indicate at this point how many directors in total will be on board of the new combined entity. Central CEO Peter Wang said the company had been preparing the IPO in any case, but the naked brand merger allow us to go public faster, providing the worker capital to support our substantial backlog. He also cited the opportunity to gain such a loyal, enthusiastic shareholder base such as the Naked Army and Naked's other shareholders as other motivating factor. What, are, what, what would be the fate of New Central? Central isn't a household name, but that's because the, it produces EVs for commercial and municipal use rather than pass, uh, passenger cars, which typically attract the most media attention. Unlike most smaller EV companies, with vehicles that haven't moved beyond the drawing uh, board of hand-built prototype stage, Centro is actually manufacturing EVs and selling them to clients in 26 countries. According to the information on this website, Centro has delivered more than 3,300 electric commercial vehicles to date, which has collectively traveled in excess of 20 million miles. The company expects the following sales and revenue figures for the current year and upcoming years. In 2021, uh, 1,500 vehicles delivered 25 million in revenue. 
in 2022. Uh, 21,500 vehicles delivered, 506 million in revenue. In 2023, 74,800 vehicles delivered, 2.2 billion in revenue. These are ambitious targets with almost 50 fold increase in deliveries expected within two years. But Centro has the advantage of its positioning and sector of the EV market where skyrocketing demand is expected. A December 2020 market re uh, research report by Market and Markets Projects, a compound annual growth rate CAGR of 41.0% for electric commercial vehicles worldwide through 2028. The report notes that the segment generating the highest demand and growth in electric vans, Centro especially, if this and similar reports are accurate, the company is operating in the specific market with an even higher CAGR over the coming decade than the EV market overall, where the passenger vehicle growth rates figured in a 26.6 CAGR and anticipated through 2031. According to the analysis for firm Transpar uh, transparency market research or TMR. And let's read a little bit more than we'll be done. While online uh, commentators are marking the lack of synergies in a merger between an electric vehicle van manufacturer and a maker of swimsuits and sexy lingerie, the uh, the the SPAC, uh, the SPAC merger could actually have potential. Central already has fully developed vehicles in production and on the road, and is operating in a growth sector, going public and receiving a 282 million infusion from Naked Brand could act uh, could be exactly what is needs to kickstart the expansion and, and mark the most of current opportunities. Naked investors may soon find themselves holding a new but bullish electric car stock rather than a apparel stock, and the merger is worth watching for uh, growth potential. What do you think, folks? I think that this merger is has great potential. Um, comment below if you already invested in Naked and you are excited by the, the EV spec. If not, comment below if you think this is a terrible idea. According to the article, if these if these uh, vehicles start to be released, these are the vehicles that we discuss. But if these numbers are correct, and right now uh, naked is less than seventy cents a share, I think that is an excellent idea to at least put two three hundred dollars into this share. But you may have to hold it for a while. This is going to be a holding play. This is not going to be something that's going to kick off right away. So. This is Antonio with Team Tigio. Please like, comment, and subscribe as we'll be coming to you with more video videos in the future. And once again, we will see you next time.